Hi, I'm Corey with the customer education team here at Comet Sold. And in this video, I want to walk you through how to link your Facebook page and group. Let's go. There are several benefits to linking your Facebook page and your Facebook group. First of all, it simplifies the process for you to be able to communicate with your Facebook shoppers. For example, you're able to enable and customize Facebook auto replies. You can also take advantage of our live messenger notifications and send push notifications for those shoppers who have opted in whenever your shop goes live or has a new promotion hitting the store. The first thing you'll want to do is link your Facebook page to your Facebook group in Facebook. Here we are in Facebook and I'm going to navigate to my groups and select manage. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the left menu and select group settings. At the bottom of this page, I am going to look for an option to link pages. I'll select the pencil icon and this will give me the option to link to a business page where I am set as an admin. I am going to link it to Peaches and Pockets, select link, perfect. Now once you have linked your Facebook page and your Facebook group, there's a toggle in comments sold that you need to enable. Let's head there. So here I am in my comments sold account and I'm going to select social setup in the side menu. And on the Facebook groups tab, I'm going to scroll down and this option where page is linked to group, I'll want to make sure I have it enabled. That's it. Now there are a few other things you can enable on your Facebook page and group once you have them linked. For example, you can create on your Facebook page a dropdown that lists all of the groups that you want associated with your Facebook page. To do this, we'll want to be on our business page. We'll scroll down and under settings, we are going to look for the templates and tabs option. Under tabs, you're going to want to look for the groups option ensure that you have enabled it, you can actually move this up so that it appears further up in your menu. So now if I head back to my Facebook page, you'll see that groups is visible in this menu. Now I only have one group linked, but if I had more than one, this would appear as a drop down that shows all the various groups that I can navigate to. The last thing we can do is feature your Facebook page in your group photo. This increases the visibility of your Facebook page and makes it easier for your group members to navigate there. On your Facebook group, select Manage. You'll then scroll down to Group Settings. You're going to look for this Customize Group section and the option for Group Affiliation. Select the pencil icon and make sure that Group Affiliation is enabled. Since I've linked my page, it's going to show up as an option for me to use as an affiliation. Ensure that's selected and select save. Now when I view my Facebook group, I'll see this banner here that says it is a group that's created and maintained by Peaches and Pockets. And this link will take customers to my Facebook business page. If you have any questions about linking your Facebook business page and your Facebook groups, Feel free to reach out to the comments sold support team by selecting the blue support icon in the lower right corner of your comments sold dashboard. Happy selling.